welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm so excited to be doing this video. I mentioned this about a week ago and I said, let's maybe do a taste test of like the holiday roast since the holidays are officially here. It's crazy. And so many of you guys wanted to see it. So yeah. I am really excited to be doing it. And of course, it's a taste test. Nate is here for And I heard it was calorie free? Absolutely. Okay. It doesn't I'm, count. I'm here. It doesn't count. I'm here. Yeah. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we're going to go over everything with you guys. We're going to cook all this up. We're going to put it to the test. I think there's a lot riding on gravy. Just yeah. Put that out there. Yeah. And I really wanted leftovers. This oh, is meal yeah. prep for the week. That's what I said. I was like, what am I going to do with all this for the sake of this, this taste result? It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care it's of it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, the consensus kind of was that uh, from some of you that already from watching my hauls where I got this stuff. Spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, said that you had tried this one. I think mostly this was the popular one over here, the Gardein one, and that the gravy is good, but you do prefer to kind of make your own typically when like compared to package ones, which makes sense though. So True. we'll see though. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed. I'm more than happy to do videos like this. We've really gotten into it lately and yeah. you guys seem to really like it and it, leave your suggestions for other ones to do in the future. Thank you guys so, so much always for your support. We really appreciate it. We do have the Gardein holiday roast here. This one I think is probably the most popular and easiest to find. I got this at Whole Foods, but I have seen this at Sprouts as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's other places, but at least that's what you know I've seen local to us. We're in California. Uh, I also picked this one up from Whole Foods. This is the Field Roast uh, Hazelnut Cranberry Roast. They also had this in a uh original flavor yeah, versus the hazelnut two different styles yeah. but of the same thing so we went ahead for the sake of just tasting that uh this one now guys we've been vegan for like almost four years and we have not tried any of these that i know i know in march we haven't tried any of these that i recall but it made me think of it because i think last year or the year before we did try a field roast one. It was like a mini one. Yeah. Um, and I want to say it was the original and it was okay. If I remember, it I was okay. I wasn't blown away. Yeah. I, it really wasn't something that I, yeah. let's just put it this way. We don't quite remember. No. We remember good yeah. stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, it didn't ring a, like, yeah. it didn't stand out. So again, this one was from Whole Foods. I have not personally seen this one anywhere else, but I have seen this brand at some of their items at Sprouts, also Vons. Yeah, now the only other one here too that's like something a little bit different that might be a little harder for some of you to find because not everywhere has a Trader Joe's. This one is strictly from Trader Joe's. Uh, I'm excited for this. Mm -hmm. It's been out for I think years now, obviously seasonal, but every year, and we have yet to try it. I shop at Trader Joe's so frequently, but it was always sold out. I don't remember, wasn't it like yeah. two years ago? They literally just said, it'll come in, it'll come in. And we and went on never, stock days even, it, and it, we never yeah, could get we, our hands we were on calling. Yeah because I yeah. think we wanted to do a yeah. video and this time we were just like strolling through and just <laughs> pop and we were like yep. <laughs> it's mine <laughs> but this time they actually have a ton they did yeah. so I'm excited to finally try this but again it may be one that you may or may not be able to get your hands on just depending on if you have a store and if you have a stocking <laughs> issue with them too these ones do have stuffing actually this one does too but it does look a little more minimal in it and again guys in the comments leave if you've tried any of these please leave your feedback for everyone not just us but just to give any feedback you have please do uh, then the last what we wanted to do was another Gardein one that we saw there um, at Whole Foods all together and this would be better for like one to two people right. versus you know this serves eight this one I think serves eight is it eight uh, eight and six. six so something for a family that is much smaller just an option here we'll put it to the or, test or for those of you this is also I think the really good option for the ones out there that have uh, vegan not vegan households yeah so yeah, if we because we get that comment mm -hmm. a lot uh, mm -hmm. You know, I'm vegan, but my the rest of my family right. isn't something like that. Maybe you don't want to cook a whole one of these yeah. because you know you just don't need all that. Yeah. This one here might be a little bit more convenient for that one person that's right. vegan in the house, and the other people who aren't who don't want to. Right. Gives you a great option still to not have to take up the entire kitchen or right. oven. Right. For just that one meal. Too. Yep. That's so. kind of cool. I am kind of 
of interested. This one has like a puff pastry on the outside. That's kind of interesting to me. Okay. I'm into it. I hope it's good because that's the difference. Unique. I mean, we're going to put all of these into the toaster oven. Um, we're going to follow the directions on here on each one. They're relatively the same, except this one is about half the time. Makes yeah. sense. Half the size. <laughs> but we'll also be able to show you guys our new toaster oven. Yeah! talking about it we've quickly showed it to you guys but I wanted to like make something good that I could really show you it uh, in depth as it's cooking something too and I thought this would be perfect we're gonna put it we're gonna we're gonna take it to war we're gonna take it to war See if this thing holds up. <laughs> no we've been using it though for about three to four weeks already and I love it I love it you guys it's awesome the features on it and the like already pre-done settings. It's so <laughs> awesome. I love it. It's a good but design. yeah, it's really cool. But we're going to start cooking these up. We'll show you what they look like just strictly like out of the box uncooked. And then we'll show you what they look like too once they are done. And then we are going to eat. I know. That's why you're here. It's good. Ready? Ready. Go! toaster oven so we have our uh, kasori air fryers here these are the large ones they are awesome but this one is even larger now it is an air fryer too so i mean this thing does everything which is awesome <laughs> and real quickly just to show you what comes with it you get a recipe book and then of course the uh user manual in here you do get we have used it uh we do get a, just like a baking rack here and this here is for like actually doing like rotisserie like chicken this is the air fryer basket and then over here again it's we've put it through the ringer already is uh the big tray here that we're going to actually put all the roast on we're going to line it with foil though just to make cleanup easier but that's what comes with it so right here you have your just stop and start basically uh on and off button this is the convection oven feature this is just uh the celsius or fahrenheit uh and then the function here you'll see when you turn it on too it just goes to the screen automatically and you can literally go to like whatever it is you're doing it's so cool. That's what I was talking about of like just the features being so like it's so user friendly. It really is. And then down here is the temp and the time. It's very, very simple to use. Oh, and it also comes down here with a removable like sheet for like to, you know, get crumbs and stuff. All right. So Nate is putting these in. This is the Gardein, the Field Roast, the Trader Joe's one. And the little one we're going to wait because it's smaller. It takes like half the time. And we have it just preheating right now. And what do you have it set to? 425? So we got to do a little break up cooking so that they all go evenly because they all have okay. roughly the same time. But yeah, so 425 for this one for the first 20 minutes. Then we're going to bring, bring it down to 400 for this one, mm -hmm. which is going to be a total of almost an hour. And then this one we're dropping in with 35 minutes left. Okay. We're actually going to put some foil on top of that too because you're supposed to loosely wrap it. But just to show you guys... Um, it fits, it fits a, lot. a lot. I just wanted to show that because again, just to put into perspective of like, these are large, um, and we use these all the time, but really if you have a larger family guys, like I know we don't, <laughs> but we do a lot of food prep and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you do have large families and could really benefit from it. So I hope you guys, uh, check it out. I'll have it linked below. This smells 
amazing. I'm about, I'm about all the smells. All the smells. All the everything smells. Everything looks good. Everything cooked up good. Yeah, it's easy. Super simple. We just heated this yeah. up through, just like run it over or put it in a bowl of hot water yeah. and then let it heat through that way and then mm -hmm. just pour it into the bowls. This is the gravy that comes with the Guardian one, gravy that comes with the Trader Joe's one. Um, and then we didn't do it for that one. Do the same, the same gravy. It's the same. Yeah. So as this Guardian one. And this one, of course, does not come with gravy, just so you know. Let's let's just try this one first. Okay, so we're doing gardenes right which now. Gardenes is, is this one over this here. One okay. Okay. okay, so right here, we're gonna try it out first. Now, again, we have not tried this before. It's sliced really easy. I'm gonna do a little bite with everything. Yeah, I'm gonna do the, the... Yeah, let's try it without the gravy. Right. Mmm. I kind of like the stuffing. Yeah, the stuffing has a little cranberry note in yeah. it, which is really nice. The actual turkey yeah. is good. It's good. It's yeah. actually juicy. It, it's got some of that, like, it comes across sometimes a little spongy quality, uh -huh. but I mean, that's what it is. So. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking sandwich. <laughs> that is sandwich right yeah. there. That's what comes to mind. It's just. Two of those on a piece of toast and pour the juice in the gravy and just ah, blah, blah. What are you gonna do? Ah. <laughs> um, I think it's really good. I'm not like blown away, but I, I would get it. This is, I would totally get this for a holiday thing so yeah. far. You know, like I'm not blown away though. I, it's good. I guess I just have, I guess I just have the bar so low. Yeah, because we just haven't really had the best luck yeah. with this kind of thing. Like we love Gardein, all their like bagged products and stuff, but for the roast, we just haven't. Mm. You're into it. And the bottom is extra crispy. Yeah, it, the, the the outside's good. Uh-huh. There's some awesome texturing going on to this one too. Oh, I like that. I like it. I really do. That's why I like to have him here too, because it's just two opinions. We don't always agree. It's good. It's got like a little weird aftertaste to me a little bit. I don't, it's more of maybe the stuffing has a certain like herb in it even that I'm just tasting. I don't know. It, it's not bad. It's just a little bit different to me. So far it is good. I would recommend it. The next one is, I can just tell you from looking at it, it looks to be a smidge more meaty uh, than it is stuffing in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it has like that pie crust kind of phyllo dough almost like on the outside. So I'm interested in this one. Now we're gonna try without gravy because it doesn't, come, it doesn't with it. come with it. But again, we mentioned we've tried a field roast one like a different flavor, and we weren't the biggest fan. It wasn't awful. It just wasn't like great. Oh, you're not into it. I don't like that the textures are all over the place. There's like way too many textures. There's like super soft, there's like some stuffing like thing, and then there's like chunks of things in there. It's good, but it's it's interesting. Yeah, it's different. I just don't know if I'm about it. Let's see. Not bad. I actually think it almost even has maybe more flavors going on in it. But if you're trying to mimic more of a traditional roast stuffed turkey. This isn't roast stuff. But it's not trying to be that, yeah. It, yeah, it's not. It's it's good. I actually like it, but it's it's different. You can taste that like hazelnut though. Mm -hmm. You can taste it. No, I'm I'm not like obsessed with it, but I don't hate it. I do like the fact that it does have that phyllo dough. Yeah. Which is actually It that's good. It's a different, unique twist to it, I guess, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not obsessed, but it's not bad. I don't think you're gonna hate it. It's just not maybe what you're expecting either. It wasn't. I yeah. That, I didn't think the texture was gonna yeah. do that. Now, I'm excited to try the Trader Joe's one, guys. Let's get into this. Now, this one looks like it has a little more stuffing, again, than the meat, but still a good amount, but closer to this Gardein one. Okay, and this, this has gravy too, but we'll try it without. Okay, now so I just got a bite of all stuffing. It's like the identical texture throughout the whole thing. Let me try it again real quick. Yeah. I think I might have got just stuffing. It was good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay. Okay, there's some more meat. Yeah, it's got a certain flavor in it. 
There's almost a, a, a holiday flavor in there that has like a little bit of heat to it. Okay, I love it. Like, I like it. Yeah, you're right. It comes in at the end. It's like peppery. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it with that gravy too. Let me dunk. Drop it. Yeah. That's a good, like, um, consistency. Mm -hmm. Love that gravy in comparison to this one. This one has more mushroom, and I just don't really love mushroom. That's good. It's a little salty. Oh, it is. It is a little it's salty. It's saltier. But it's good. They're all different. They're all different. Mm -hmm. Which is nice that they're all not mm -hmm. the same, which is good. Yeah, so... You don't like it, huh? I do. I like it. It's it's good, but if I had to choose, we started we started mm -hmm. with the Gardein, and you like that one the most. I like that one the most. So far, I'm gonna say Trader Joe's, then Gardein, then the Field Roast. Now flip it. You like that one? Gardein. That one? That one? No, Gardein into this. Okay. This one's the last okay. one. Okay. Well, just... we gotta try that last thing because I don't know if it looks very similar. This little I just left it over here just for the sake of seeing it. This one looks very similar to this one here, but I think it might actually be a slightly different stuffing. Okay. So we're gonna try it just to see. Um, otherwise, it might just be a smaller version. What are you using a fork? Just go. <laughs> just go. Should we just do it? Just go. Just go. Interesting. Ready? Uh-huh. You'll love it. Mmm. Okay, after having this one, this one's cooked really good. Yeah, it is. This one is definitely more spot on with texture, too. This one's really good. Yeah. Really. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> really crispy on the outside. Good meat texture and then just like stuffing. So, the other one's a little softer, maybe, all around. I don't know. Yeah. Let's try. Uh -huh. And this one's a finger food. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine Thanksgiving finger food style? I actually saw a recipe for stuffing in muffin cups. Mm -hmm. Genius. <laughs> Guys, this one's actually... Okay, okay. I think this one tastes totally different. Hold on. Hold my beer. I'm going to try this again oh. because this one is, like, winning for me. <laughs> it's and it tastes different to me. So hey, hold on. Hey Gardein. Call me. Call me. Ah, I love Gardein products. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a different flavor. Try this again. It it's they're good, but they're a little different. But it, it is good. You don't yeah. get really different from it? I do, like a flavor. I do. Yeah. Okay, so mine's changed now. I'm gonna say that's number one. Yeah. The cheapest one is number one. Truth. It, this one? Yeah. Then this one for me. Then this one. And then this one. But yeah. they're all good. Like, none of them are like, oh my god, that's terrible. Yeah. Little Gardein. Yeah. Into big Gardein. I into... didn't expect that. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? That's good. I do prefer the Trader Joe's gravy, technically. But again, I think it's more of my own preference of just, I'm not a mushroom person. Not to say there's not mushroom even in that. I just don't taste it as much. But that one is saltier. That, it is saltier, but that mm -hmm. one does have a mushroom solid base. mushroom mm -hmm. base. So That's we might, interesting. We might have to do a little work with finding a gravy or even making our yeah. own. Because we did make a good one before. Yeah. But yeah, these little dudes, these are, these are Thanksgiving. That's Yeah, we'll take it to the parents. There and uh, that was really good. So, okay, you would pick that one. This then one. This one. And then the Big Gardein Trader Joe's Field Roast. All right, guys. Well, I think that is our consensus that gardening came through. I think they're all going to be pretty good for you, but if you can get your hands on those bad ones, they're the cheapest and they're bomb. I'm glad we were able to actually do a yeah. side by side of these, just because last year was so we couldn't find them. No, we did like the gardening just turkey cutlet things, like just I think those are year round even. Which those are actually pretty. They're good, pretty so. good, but it was nothing special really, you know. So this is nice that they have like so many options now. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed, please do give this video a thumbs up. We are still open to doing maybe like a true vegan feast. We'll probably feature that one again if we mm -hmm. do it. But let us know if it's something you want to see. We did it a couple years ago actually, but we did not do it last year. So um, I'm open to it maybe in the next couple weeks or so. So let us know and we're all set. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good thanks stuff. for trying it with me. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. We do more cooking videos, though. We do need to get a nice little big flip. Yeah, because yeah. I hate the little light bulb reflection. I know. Yeah. For my Instagram.
Prost. Let's do a thumbnail, preliminary thumbnail, if you will. But do um, I need to get my crotch in frame for that? Full dick. Okay. <laughs> what do you want, Sharon? Okay, can I eat? I only drink water with electrolytes. That looks like the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't like that gravy. What? Show me love, show me love. Are you putting me in charge of cooking all these for the timing and stuff? Oh. Good! I'll see you later, dickhead! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting away our holiday feast. Meal prepping it so it's super easy and convenient. What? <laughs> this is what you sound like. Aww. That's not a bad thing. 